In today's video, we unpack how to select your marketing channels. The other name for this video could be, should I start a TikTok account for my agency? I think the answer for me is no, but the answer for you could be yes. Stay tuned. In the past, my agency was struggling with overwhelm on social media. We couldn't create all the content quick enough, and frankly, we were giving up regularly. We now work on a few social media accounts. We get great engagement. We have loads of fun. It's no longer a burden, and we are consistent. In this video, we're gonna look at the four steps to identify the marketing channels you should be following up on. Hey, my name is Lee Matthew Jackson. I'm the host of the Trailblazer FM podcast and proud Cloudways Maverick. Back in the early 2000s, our agency were trying to be in all places at once. Social media was pretty new, so we figured we needed to literally be everywhere. Not only were we online, but we were also offline trying to advertise in multiple magazines, trying to show up to multiple events. We were completely stretched to the limit. You see, we were obviously spreading ourselves too thin. We were sharing the wrong message in the wrong places. We were regularly hitting burnout and our ROI was atrocious. Fast forward to today and we are rock stars in the marketing channels that we've chosen to show up in. We have the right message and that message is received by receptive ears. We are really motivated to continue and we are getting measurable results from our marketing. Let's look at those four steps to finding your ideal marketing channels. Following the method we adopted, step one was to identify our ideal clients. There's two ways we can do that. The first way is to create a customer avatar of our absolute ideal client. And that is ridiculously helpful because that allows us to form a message to that avatar. Equally, we were able to look at our existing clients and from that pool of clients, see which one of those closely met that avatar. Which one of those would we refer to as an ideal client? Somebody who paid well, who respected our processes, who we were able to help and had a great lifetime value. Secondly, once we'd understood who our ideal client was, we started to work out where they show up. One of the most important questions you can ask of your avatar is where do they go and find their information? If they have a problem, where do they go? For us, we understood they went to specific events in our industry, they were members of specific groups on LinkedIn, and they also sought audio content through podcasts. We also recognized that we needed to show up where they were ready to talk business. Therefore, if we were showing up on Facebook where they were sharing family photographs, etc., that wasn't the appropriate place for us to network. However, if we were showing up at events in those magazines, on those podcasts, then we were more likely to hit them in the right frame of mind when they are receptive and looking for that necessary information. So basically, don't Facebook stalk people. It's kind of weird. Third, what we did was reviewed all of the existing channels that we had adopted, and that was a ridiculous amount. A lot of magazines, a lot of events that we attended, a lot of social media profiles. We knew we had to cull. Therefore, based on the identity of that ideal client, we were able to drop a whole range of events and social platforms that we knew that our ideal customer was not showing up at to find information. We could see the results. We were not getting sales. We were not getting conversions from those channels. They were ones that we could easily drop. Then based on where our client shows up, we kept those appropriate platforms and started to add the new channels. Which leads us to step four, which was for us to identify those marketing channels that were manageable, they were measurable, they were enjoyable, and they delivered 
results. We now only go to two events per year in the events industry where our ideal client is. We show up in a couple of industry magazines and we show up on one main platform, which is LinkedIn in some very specific areas to support and to connect with our ideal client. We now are not overwhelmed in our agency because we know exactly what we're doing. We know who we're talking to. We know what problems they have. We know where they show up. We know what our message is. We know what our solutions are and we can go and add value in those very specific areas rather than spreading ourselves too thin. I've not mentioned TikTok, have I, since the beginning. The point here is, is that TikTok is not where our ideal client is showing up. That doesn't mean though, that your ideal client isn't showing up on TikTok and you could start busting some awesome moves. You've got to go and do that research. Take those four steps. Identify your ideal client, find out where they show up, review your existing channels and call the ones that are wasting time. And finally, add any relevant channels that are manageable, measurable, enjoyable, and deliver results. Let us know in the comments how you identified your ideal client and the marketing channels that you should show up on. It's great to be able to learn from each other's journeys. Whilst you're in the comments, why not hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon, give this video a like, and hey, if we don't see you in the comments, why don't we see you in the next episode?